Marissa. Keeping your family safe, KZI 9 News investigates panic apps. They're designed to help protect you in a moment of panic from health emergencies to physical assaults. And the different apps advertise a split second option to get help. In our special report tonight, KZI 9 News anchor Brian Anderson investigates whether it's worth the download just because there's an app for that. I use my phone a lot for basically everything. 111 times a day. That's how often UO senior JC Shinoni picks up her iPhone. Calling, texting a lot, social media, Twitter. Scheduling too. As for her protection. I'm like you should download this app. Shinoni's parents want her to add a safety app to her phone too. Three, four, I can hear the siren. And there are a number of them to choose from. It depends on what application it is. Eugene Springfield Fire just released the Pulse Point app. 911 calls for heart attacks in public places trigger an alert to Pulse Point users. EMS Chief Joanna Campy says the goal is to start CPR as soon as possible, even before first responders arrive. We've been very careful about making sure that we're not on the, the bleeding edge of this technology but that we're on the leading edge of the technology. A 2015 study surveyed more than 2,400 people in the U.S. and Canada, and it found an overwhelming amount of support for this crowdsourcing app in their communities. There's also the Panic Button app that says it helps you report active shooters, fires, police, and medical emergencies. Circle of Six claims to connect you to your closest friends during an emergency. We store a lot of private information on these little things that we can hold in our hands, right? Which is why safety includes protecting your personal information. Don Johnson works with the Better Business Bureau. They're like mini computers and we need to treat them as such. She says no matter the app, research the developer because Johnson says downloading that app is like opening up a window into your home. Does this app really need to have access to your contacts, to your storage, to your location? Can I have access to your photos? Can I have access? And it's just like this long list of things that they're getting and we don't I mean I grew up in a generation where that's kind of normal but not for JC Shinoni I kind of wish that people would spend a little bit more time thinking about it she's open to the idea of a universal safety app combining the best of all those safety apps out there then maybe but she says even then we're still just so gonna be so used to calling 911 Brian Anderson KEZI 9 News